Good morning. My name is Pascal Hamlet, President and CEO of Abcourt Mine. Abcourt Mine is a Quebec-based gold development company with, uh, with the assets in place, uh, the Sleeping Giant Mine and Mill, fully permitted, and uh, beginning to sell gold in uh, Q1 2024. Pascal, good to see you. Been, been a while. Um, Thanks for having me. Well, I, 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 I could not. I could not. We're doing this gold rush um, session for trying to find interesting um, investment ideas for in, in gold. It's been a tough year, a couple of years for gold, right? Um, remind people what you've got because you, you, you're going to start selling gold. You've, you've got the mill up and running. Are you kind of ramping up at the moment? Is that is that where we're at? Exactly. We we. We commissioned the mill back in uh, November 2023. We're uh, we're filling the mill right now and, and putting every, like putting all the, the the process in place to make sure we we have an excellent recovery, and uh, we're going to start selling gold in Q1 2024. Okay, and, and what are you what are you feeding the mill with? Well, at first we we got 8,000 tons of stockpile right now in front of the mill. From that, from that 8,000, there's 5,000 uh, tons coming from a deposit near the Sleeping Giant Mine. Uh, Abcourt, we own over 13 property within trucking distance from the mill. Trucking distance, I mean 100 kilometers. So it's all like the Quebec, there's two types of deposit in Quebec. You got the high grade narrow vein underground deposit, which can be trucked because you're not looking at big volume. You're looking at high grade, small volume, so that can be easily trucked over over a long distance. And you got the other deposits with our, uh, which are open pit, which cannot be trucked. So us, we own many many deposits within uh, within trucking distance from the Sleeping Giant. So we be, we begin with five thousand tons from Pershing Many Two. Uh, the expected grain is going to be between six and eight grams. And then after that, we're starting the Sleeping Giant mine. So we, the ore pass is already full. We've got 3,000 tons sitting in front. Uh, so we begin mining in February with uh, development miners. We begin the diamond drilling in December 2023. So we're putting all the things in place to start uh, mining and generate and, and self-generate uh, re- cash for our future growth. Okay, interesting. And and how how about some of the numbers here? So, between so six and eight grams per ton. Um, on yeah, I think that's what you're expecting. Um, and the mill mill can uh, take what was its capacity? What's the name plate on it? Yeah, the mill uh, the mill capacity is uh, seven seven fifty. Depends on the rock hardness. So let's say seven hundred fifty tons a day, and it's yeah. permitted for nine hundred. Right. Okay. So if you if you find additional deposit, you can process up to nine hundred tons a day in that mill. Right. Okay. In- interesting. So let's let's hang on. Let me in my head. So you've got the eight thousand six eight recoverable is good, is it? What what are we recovering? Ninety six percent. Ninety six percent. Um. Okay. You run that. Let's say, what would that run for eleven months of the year? Oh, it's going to run. What's the, what's the downtime? Fifty-five days a year. Oh, days a year. Uh, you're looking at so you're looking at uh, Matt. Let's see if everything goes well. You're looking at uh, possibly up to seventy thousand ounces a year eventually with that mill. Okay, so it's so right about a million. Now, there's many steps to get there. But- yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hear you. But I'm, I'm trying to work, what I'm trying to work out because I'm very conscious you can't say anything. But it's it's going to be it's going to be sort of in the in the region of about a million bucks a month uh, because the, because the the blue sky is the is the exciting bit about this story, right? It's like the, having a mill producing is fantastic because it's all paid bought and paid for, right? Um, is the ca- the cash generation that comes off of that is good, but you've got to then um, work out what the what the net is and then what that contribution could be to expiration. That and in my head, I'm thinking somewhere region. You know, it's it's five, maybe six million contributions towards expiration. So I, I'm in, and I'm interested in the headline I saw um, from you uh, the, earlier this week, which is about you know fourteen point seven or fourteen point eight grams over four meters. So you you're, you're, you continue to find high grade stuff. So that feels to me like it's an expiration program for this year is 
well, could be funded without any dilution. So that's exciting, I think. So is that what you're hoping for? Is that it's a yeah, we'll be, um Right now, we're, we're going to start gold sale in this quarter. So that will support the growth. So you're looking at possibly, you know, you could you could say maybe five hundred thousand a month. Okay. You know, coming from from the operation to support yeah, yeah. the growth without diluting yeah. the uh, shareholders. So I guess this, this is that amount. So this five, is pretty unique. Yeah that's, yeah, that's where I got to. Um, that's interesting. That's that's interesting. So, um, have you got the the drill program? mapped out have you done the modeling to us work at where the targets are and you know where you're going to be spending your money yeah well all this didn't happen overnight so we began with the 3d model in 2022 uh we we released a resource estimate in december 2022 we continue to refine the the 3d model um it's all in leapfrog uh you know they the geologists have the proper tools today to work with that deposit which that was not the case before 2022. We did the PE in June 2023, and then we looked at it and we said, and because of the additional geology work since the resource, we, we had stopes ready that were not even in the PEA. So we said, well, we cannot do, we cannot let the coal sitting there with just, you know, with a functioning mill fully permitted. Uh, you got to do. You got to go ahead. So we we restarted the mill in the fall. We started with the broken material already paid for. You know, this is material that we we invested back in 2022 to break. So so we're going to process that first. We're going to keep going, and then after that, we're going to keep going. Uh, you know, of course, I I'm going to be careful on forward looking statement, but it's fair to say that the mill could generate probably a thousand tons a week yeah okay okay so so if I, i'm looking i'm trying to work out what, what i'm what i'm investing in here right because i like the production but it, that's unusual right there's not too many juniors you're sitting around 25 million bucks which is you know you, you know a lot of people in, in your situation but a lot of people haven't got a mill that's produced working and and and, and producing and, and uh gold but also cash flow for you so if I look at what you need to try to do to kind of impress me with the, with the market, I mean, I guess one of the one of the big things is going to be you need to increase that the the, the resource, right? You're sitting around half half a million um, ounces at the moment you, in M and I. What work do you are you planning to do this year to increase that? Because that's I kind of a, a big number that people go by. Yeah, yeah. So the the the, the extra cash that we're going to generate is going to be for drilling. Drilling, drilling, sleeping giant itself, because we have eight, over eight hundred veins that we need to follow up on. Like you look at the three D model, actually, the, that three D model is going to be online very soon. People will be able to look at it and zoom in, zoom out, look at the deposit, look at our resource. They're going to see on the press release where we're drilling. They're going to see this the the the, the potential. Now us. With the drilling, we're going to be able to increase the resource. And eventually, while we're producing, eventually we're going to say, okay, we're good enough. Let's generate the pre-feasibility. So the people can see the reserve and they can see how much life of mine we have in front of us. Then they'll be able to say, okay, you know, the, like they do with the majors, they can say, oh, they got so much reserve. This is this what the market cap should be. And then they're going to look at our existing market cap, and they're going to say, "Oh, there's a, there's a gap there." <laughs> right, but but every but the the, the, the PEA was predicated just on uh, Sleeping Giant, right? The, you've got a portfolio of about fifteen different assets there, or of, of varying age, quality, and data. Um, is it a case of let's just focus on Sleeping Giant and 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 deal with that and get that up and running, and then we'll having prioritized that list in terms of what you do with it. Or are you looking to monetize some of those other assets and, and again, release or generate more cash? Or do you not need to now with the producing mill? Uh, because we're going to be producing and generating cash, um, yeah, monetizing other asset is a good idea as long as the price offered is right. If if they're trying to lowball an offer to us, we're going to keep the assets because we have a mill that will, that will need material. 
So I take a, as an example uh, discovery and flood lane deposit. Uh, we just released drill results from flood lane. We did a small campaign in the fall to, in November 2023. It shows good potential. We have sulfide near surface at a very good grade that needs to be drilled. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna invest some of not. We're not going to invest 100 percent at Sleeping Giant, but okay, okay. say 80 percent Sleeping Giant and 20 percent on the surrounding deposit to the mill. Right. And re okay. Really, really interesting. So let me come back to something you said earlier with regards to how you feed the mill. So you got eight thousand, you got five thousand and three thousand, and you, you, you yeah, and a bunch of other assets where may, maybe you can we can draw from. But um, can you give me sort of sense of what is sitting? At surface, or you know, in, in its widest context, what it what or is accessible to you on top of the eight thousand? And and before you do that, can you just say how quickly will you be able to kind of get get through that that the 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 eight thousand ton? Well, for example, um, I have a five thousand ton stove just sitting there, no development required. All I have to do is uh, do some re out on the the existing drift. You know, uh, verify the ground support, redo them as needed, and then you start mining. So maybe two weeks of preparation, and then you start mining. Five thousand tons sitting right there at uh, probably ten grams, and then we have many like that. Just on the top four levels, we identify close to hundred thousand ounces that are outside the uh, mineral resource estimate. So this is material that we eventually going to be drilling and, and provide support for the pre-feasibility, but it's not even in the, like the stove that we showed on the press release last night, it's not in the resource estimate. It's outside of it. Right. So you need, you need the resource estimate updated. You are, when, when's the, when are you aiming to get a start, a pre-feasibility? The, 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 the Late late 2024, early 2025. But to, to start uh, or to finish? My goal is to produce and generate money for growth. Once, like there, there won't be any rush for me to generate a pre feasibility. My goal will be to show the market that I have a, a bank account building up. <laughs> you know, when the market see that, they, 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 they're going to say, yeah, it would be nice to have a pre fees, but we don't really care. You know, well, you're not diluting anyone, so they, they really don't care. Um, but at the same time, they do want that kind of growth component. So, do you think that I, I think we say, and I, and I know you said it with a smile with regards to like building up the the, the bank account, but um, do you, where do you think the value? Where do you think real value lies? Because you're like you're a mind builder. You you you, fi you, fi you fix things for or have fixed things um, all your life uh, for other people. But do you think it's better to have a big cash balance here, or do you think it's important to actually? pump that back into the drilling and expand that resource at, at some point. Where does value lie? The value lies in expanding the resource, ex increasing the life of mine. Once the market see you got a solid 10 year life of mine with reserve, I tell you, the market's going to like it. And then after that, yeah, it, 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 the, your shareholder will love it. And then you, you can start and then it's going to be to expand the resource. You know, expand the, like, get a second deposit going. So you start mining around the mill, and then, because at first, the sleeping giant mine, it's not going to be filling the mill. The mill is going to have excess capacity. So we need to have a second deposit coming in to lower our uh, overhead costs. Uh, and then you're going to generate even more growth. So to me, uh, and then, the sunlight deposit, they're all highway access, uh, close to power lines. So you're not you're not in Nunavik or in, in the uh, Canadian Arctic. You know, you're you're within trucking distance from Baldor. Right. I, yeah. No, I, I I I get that. So I'm just again looking at all the things that could hold you back. So life of mine will be extended by increasing resource. Exactly. Yeah, right. So that gets you from you know where you're at, sort of just over you know eight years left of mine to you know over that ten, magical 10 mark that people look for the and then there's with obviously high grade the the, the and, and the fact that you've you've got the mine already there in terms of the, the cost um the, the margins must be very very good for you exactly because the capex the the capital expenditures was done back in like 
all the drifts are already excavated from the shaft towards the deposit. So you, you, you instead of doing a thousand, uh, let's say, uh, I was going to say in feet, let's say 500 meters of development, you're going to have to do 7,500 meters to access a new zone. So you're saving a lot of money on development, but also on time because you're only breaking two and a half meter a day. So like that 10 meters, like 75 meters, you're going to be in that stoke within 50 days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so that's that's a big difference too, is you you got rapid access to the zone. And that's why we began the diamond drilling uh, this fall, because we know we don't want to start mining inferred ounces. We want to mine indicated uh, ounces. So the that's where we begin the drilling. We're converting, but they won't even make the resource system. They're going to be gone through the mill and to the Royal Canadian Mint before they even make resource. <laughs> it's, it's interesting, actually. It, it's fascinating because yeah, I'm just looking at there's so many kind of gold junior stories out there, uh, most of whom pretty much say the same thing. They've got to go and raise capital to drill to hopefully put out a headline that people, you know, get excited about, but invariably haven't, you know, in recent years. Um, you're, I guess in a meaningful way, you go, if I'm cash producing and I'm making good margin and I'm funding my own exploration, I, I will find it easy to increase the resource. I will find it easy to um, increase the life of mine. I will continue because the, the sunk cost is already done in terms of the the capital, the capex outlay. You've got a pl- you've got a plan and facility there to to process. So you haven't got a big chunk of big raise coming down the line for you. So it kind of it's just going to stand out for me. So what's what's taking so long? I mean, it, we 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 spoke first, you know, about eight, eighteen months ago, maybe I think. Um, what were you doing then that you needed to get done that's allowed you to kind of be in the position you are today? Remind me what got fixed. Well, it was the the uh, the geology model. Like the, the the geology was like the people were mining back in 2022 with no headlights. You know, it's like driving a car with the headlights off at night. Uh, you need to have a good geology model, and and yeah, you, we need. And then when you're driving that car, you're going on the autobahn at uh, 150 kilometers an hour. So it doesn't work. So we had to readjust the 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 uh, the plan. So we did the geology model, proper resource. Now we know where we're going. We got headlights. The geologists are ahead of us, not behind us. Right. Because as an operator, the geologist got to show you the way. You don't show the way to the geo. If you start telling the geo where you should be mining, it's just, you're going to have a failure. So the geo needs to be ahead. Right. And um, with regards to the, the infrastructure that you inherited, obviously it was in a it needed fixing, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Like you look at the balance sheet back in uh, spring 2022, it was not pretty, and the market value was reflecting that. Uh, you know, so the the it's we're still working on it. You know, but once once the people see that we're starting to generate cash, the the the, the, the balance sheet will fixed by itself you know so then then people will be more com- uh, comfortable in investing they know that uh, you know you're gonna earn the trust so and that's what we're working on since 2022 where we said we're gonna do ABC well guess what we did ABC so when I say we're gonna do D people can can now expect that we will it we will do it yeah, no, no, no. You, 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 made, you made your point on that one, and, and, and I think hopefully people have taken notice. Um, just to give me some some simple um, numbers here. So, in terms of the exploration, which you're going you're going after, have you put a a, a number on, or have you given guidance for the number of meters um, or the number of holes and the, the the where and what are you chasing? It's going to be one drill uh, going. We're aiming two thousand meter a month. Uh, we actually putting the second drill in February uh, on the ground um, just to accelerate the, the the advance rate on the drilling because there's a lot of moves. When you do short hole drilling, like short meters, uh, there's a lot of move in the drilling 
and the, when they move, they don't provide you information. So you need a second drill. So we're doing that. Uh, so our goal will be to eventually drill 30,000 meter a year, you know, at Sleeping Giant. Historically, uh, Condor, when it was uh, operating Sleeping Giant back in the 90s, they had five rigs on the ground. I'm not there yet, you know, like we're, we, we're gonna, you're gonna, you got to work with the cash available. Exactly. <laughs> so, but ultimately, like once, once you're, uh, you know, once you're full, full board and you're going full, full speed at Sleeping Giant, I, I, I am expecting five drills on the ground. Okay. So no, 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 no crazy financings, no streaming, no royalties, no, no structured finance, no surprises. Well, the, 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 if someone comes to me with an offer that it cannot be refused, I'll be I'll be stupid not to accept it. At least propose it to the board, you know. But we're not we're not in a dire like we're not in dire the dying needs. Put it that way. Okay, okay, okay. And um, drill programs is this that started? Obviously, we saw we saw a headline. You you, you started. Yeah, yeah. We we started. We began drilling in December. Right. And how long are you going to be drilling for? Is it two thousand a month, twelve months a year? A yeah, year? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's okay. year round. It's uh, underground drilling. Uh, lots of target. Lots of target. Actually, if I uh, listen to my geo, I would give them sixty thousand meter a year. But you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put the cash flow constraint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys get way too excited. Don't, don't, don't listen. Um, right, okay, Pascal. Look, I just wanted to, to you know, reach out. Make, uh, make make contact with you. I think you've just about to enter quite an exciting phase. So I want to speak to you now. Um, please stay in touch. Let us know how you get on because I think you're you're starting to, after you know two years of let's say fixing things, you're starting to stand out as a group that gets things done. And now with the with the cash available to you, I'm, I'm excited to see what you do with the drill bit as well. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Matt, for having me. And uh, you'll you'll see you'll see the news coming. And it's going to be what I we just discussed.